Well, hello and welcome. My name is Maria Brophy, and I am going to guide you on a meditation that will help you expand your capacity to receive abundance. As we enter into a new season, this is a great time to take stock of what it is that we want and allow ourselves to receive it. Now, this might be a surprise to you, but there are areas in your life where you are saying no to abundance. Now, you might not be saying it outwardly. You might not be saying no thank you to the things you want, but there are things inside you that are stopping you from receiving all that you want and all that you deserve. Now, what do I mean by abundance? Of course, abundance is money. It's also love. It's also kisses from puppies. It's an abundance of food, abundance of resources, friendships, all the things that make life wonderful. And abundance is our birthright, everyone. Everyone deserves abundance in all areas. Now, one thing that's really interesting is that every single one of you here right now, you have a thing with a certain type of abundance. Some of you have a thing, a block, when it comes to receiving love. And sometimes that's in the form of a love partner. And sometimes it's in the form of receiving love from your friends and family. I'm a little uh, guilty of that. I have a hard time receiving compliments and receiving too much love. If I get too much love, there's something inside me that says, whoa, stand back, get stiff. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from, but it's something I've been working to release. Some of you have a block when it comes to an abundance of money and you may not even realize it. Um, so the, the thing to do when you're, when you want to release these blocks is to first start looking at them, right? And start uh, trying to understand them. We might not even realize that these things that we want, they are coming to us and then we aren't receiving them. So I'm going to give you a great example. One night, a few years ago, right after the COVID lockdowns were in full force, my husband Drew Brophy and I, we have an art gallery in San Clemente, California. And we have a lot of musician friends who are out of, were out of work because it was COVID, right? And they're professional musicians. So they said, hey, we want to do like a little concert outside in the parking lot of your gallery. Let's do that. And I said, okay. So we had some people bring food and beer and and we just gathered a little intimate gathering of friends in our parking lot outside under the full moon. And lo and behold, I was really surprised. People started buying art from my gallery. Wasn't even planned. And by the time the night was over, I had sold, I don't know, you know, uh, a lot of art. And I thought, okay, I, I want to pay the musicians, give them a little bit of money. They weren't expecting it, but I wanted to do it in private. So there were three of them and I called the first one in my office, in the little back room. And I was like, Hey, come in here. I want to give you something. And I held out a couple hundred dollar bills to my friend. And I said, look, my gallery sold a lot of art tonight. I just want to share it, share in the wealth, show appreciation for your music. And he said, oh, 
No, 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 no. I can't. I can't take that. This was fun. And I, I insisted and I made him take it. So then I called the next musician in. It's a beautiful woman. And I, I held money out for her. And she said, oh, no, Maria, I can't take that. I can't take that money. And, of course, I made her take it. She reluctantly took it and walked out. And then the third guy walked in. I called him in and I said, thank you for the music. I made some money tonight. I want to share in the wealth. I handed the money to him, expecting him to say no, no, no. And he looked at me and he graciously took that money and he said, thank you. And I thought about this later and I thought, what? is that some people say no to what they need. And every now and again, someone will say, thank you. And there is a difference there. It's good to notice, what are you saying no to? And how do we shift to being better receivers? You know, some of these blocks go all the way back to our childhood because really it all comes down to not feeling worthy. Even if mentally you're like, I know I'm worthy. There's something deeper there. There's something deeper there. So how do we shift to being able to receive love, money, kisses, <laughs> whatever it is that the abundance that, we, that we've been asking for. Well, you start out with this. If you take a moment and you think about holding a baby in your arms, <sighs> or you could be holding a puppy in your arms, and you think about the joy that you feel. <laughs> the other day, Christine came to the office with a caterpillar, a caterpillar in a box. And Drew and I were frantically doing all this work. And she says, look, I've had a caterpillar in a box. And my initial reaction was to say, look, can you see we're in the middle of something? But then I looked at the caterpillar and it was chomping on a leaf. And she and I both were just enjoying this creature. And we were saying yes to the abundance of nature. And it was such a joyful moment that I've thought of it often in the last few days. So that's how we shift. We allow, we allow the joy, the abundance, the love, the money. We allow it. We say yes to it and we say thank you to it. We say thank you to the compliments. And by the way, by the way, you all look really wonderful. You look really good right now. Can I get a thank you? <sighs> okay. So let's begin our meditation. I would like for you to get in a comfortable position and take a Deep cleansing breath. Blow it out.
Take another breath. And this time as you blow it out, pull your belly button all the way to your spine. <sighs> like you're sucking your stomach in. That gets all the stale air out. Mm. Let's take another breath in and do that again. Deep breath in. And blow it completely out by pulling your stomach in as far as you can. Now relax the muscles in your face. Relax your forehead. Feel your face muscles completely melt into relaxation. Feel your jaw muscles release and melt into relaxation. Let your eyes rest. Place your attention on the rise and fall of your chest as you breathe in and out. Now I want you to imagine in your mind's eye that in the bottoms of your feet there are thick, beautiful, root growing out of each foot and they're growing out of the your feet and traveling to the center of the earth and watch as these beautiful roots burrow down into the center of the earth and right in the center opens a giant cavern of beautiful tree roots all interconnecting from the earth and in the center of that cavern is one giant, giant tree root. And you're going to wrap your roots around that three times. One, two, three. And now you are grounded. Now let's go back to your breath and I want you to notice that you always have an abundance of breath. No matter what you do, your breath just keeps floating in and out. I want you to visualize yourself standing on the edge of a narrow river. And this river has crystal clear waters. You can see all the way to the bottom. On the bottom of that river, beautiful, clear quartz crystals. right on the river's edge waiting for you is a golden rowboat with translucent oars and you step into that rowboat and sit down comfortably and you grab those oars and pointing the rowboat downstream the gentle stream flowing, you start gliding down that river. 
coming with the flow of the current. Ah, notice how easy this is. You don't even have to paddle. You're feeling free and joyful. And notice as you're floating down this river, along the river's banks, as you pass, you're passing all the things in your life that are abundant, that have come to you. The people that you love are standing on that river's edge. You're passing by the things in your life that you love. Your cups of coffee, your fluffy pillow, all the pets you've had that you've loved. Passing by all the opportunities that you've enjoyed, the concerts, the fun things. I want you to see these things as you pass them by on the river. And as you pass them, you feel the appreciation Notice up ahead, this narrow river opens into a giant ocean and you're heading towards it and up into that giant ocean is a little island called the Land of Plenty and in that Land of Plenty all the abundance, the things that you want to call into your life. And you can see it up ahead. The love you want to bring into your life, the achievements, the new puppies, the children, the joy, the money, the laughter. Everything you want is on that island. You're still in the narrow river. You're floating, floating, floating. And you're getting closer and closer. Just before you reach the opening, Your rowboat stops. It got stuck. It's stuck on a tiny rock. It's a really tiny rock. You look down and you see it. It's a little, little rock that you can just hold in your hand. It's a little black rock. What I want you to do is climb out of that golden rowboat and the water is not deep. The water is waist deep and it's warm. So you get into that water and you reach down and you pick up that rock. And you hold it in the palm of your hand Now I want you to look at this rock. This rock on the other side of it, there's a word 
written on this rock. And that word is what keeps you stuck. I want you to now turn that rock over and the first word that pops into your mind is what keeps you stuck. So turn that rock over. And I want you to put a smile on your face because it's kind of funny, isn't it? Kind of funny. And you just say, yep, that's what's been keeping me stuck. Isn't that silly? And you're gonna take that rock and you're gonna throw it out of your path. You're gonna throw it as far as you can and it's just gonna fly up into the sky to where you just can't see it anymore. Ah, feels good, doesn't it? And I want you to grab your oar, get back into your golden chariot there. Your golden rowboat. And start gently paddling towards your land of plenty. And I want you to notice how easy this is. Just allowing yourself. And watch as your golden rowboat enters into the giant sea and heads straight for this little island. And you land on the island and you just look at all the abundance that's waiting for you. Breathe that in. Let's take, take one big breath in, accepting this. And then blow it out. Come back to your here and now. <sighs> and feel how good that feels. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for doing my meditation with me. Please leave me a comment if you liked it. Let me know what you liked about this meditation. If you experienced something new, if it helped you understand something new about yourself, I would so love some feedback and I'll see you at the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Looking for my, looking for my thing. <laughs> Lost my remote control. Love you all.